All right, so now we have riot shields in CSGO. Well, technically we already did in danger zone, but uh, that doesn't really count. Anyways, here's seven things you should know about the new riot shield. Number one, you have to be playing casual hostage gameplay modes in order to be able to buy the riot shield. If you're not in the casual hostage map pool, you cannot buy a riot shield. Number two, just like Danger Zone, the Riot Shield also has its own slot in your inventory. So basically, it shows up separately from everything else, which is cool, I guess. Number three, you cannot use any weapons at all when you are holding it. If you're holding the Riot Shield, all you can do is hold the Riot Shield. Number four, after too much damage, the Riot Shield will break on you, so make sure it doesn't take too many hits. Number five, you can actually knock your enemy's weapons out of their hands by simply left clicking with it. The first click should knock their main rifle out of their hands, the second click should should knock their pistol out of their hands, and after that, on that third click, it'll end up killing them. Number six, when you're not currently holding your riot shield, provided it is in your loadout, it will stay on your back and protect you from fire that could be coming from behind. And lastly, number seven, having a riot shield in your inventory will actually slow your movement speed, even when it's only on your back and you're not actually holding it. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the riot shield. I thought this video would be kind of cool to make, so we'll see how it turns out. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, definitely make sure you guys leave a like and smash that subscribe button if you are new, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.